Today, we're going to go over the 4X Factory Calendar. It is by far the most user-friendly and accurate calendar to keep track of Forex-related news and events. We're going to go to ForexFactory.com. Now, this is what it's going to look like. By the end of this video, you will know how to use the calendar as well as how to read it in a way that is beneficial to your trading. But before we get into the details, I want to dispel a common misconception. Many technical traders make the mistake of thinking that because they take a technical approach to the market, they don't have to pay attention to news events, which is false. While it is necessary to study the news, it is advantageous to know when news is expected. This is especially true for hard hitting news that can adversely affect the market. Not only can this type of news affect an open position, it can cause slippage and gaps that can wreck habits for pending orders. So let's jump right in and let's get started with the Forex Factory calendar. So there is a lot of activity on this page. I don't want you guys to be intimidated or thrown off by the lot of information. We're going to go over it step by step. First thing we're going to do is we're going to configure our time zone. That's right here in the top. You're going to click the time and you're going to synchronize it. I'm in Pacific Standard Time. So I'm going to click and I'm going to save the settings here. Perfect. And then you look right here. This is what time you're on. If it says it, then you're good. Very simple. Now we're going to set the event calendar. Right here, we're going to go to filter. And these are the different events. The red folder, I'll tell you what that means in a second. Orange folder, yellow folder, and gray folder. We want to click all these, and we want everything clicked. Now, once you guys get more in tune to these different indications in the market and the different places that you're trading, you can go ahead and unclick some of these and unclick some of the folders, and then it'll be a little easier for you to understand. But I like to have everything clicked so I can know and be more well-rounded. So right here, next we're gonna go to the desired time frame. So today, you're gonna click right here. Do you wanna just have today? Well, since I trade high frequency Forex, I'm only worried about day to day. But if you're trading more long-term Forex, then you could have it for a month long, a week long, a couple days long. So I'm gonna keep it right here for one day. That's enough information for me. Now I want you guys to dig a little deeper. This is what we're looking at, the details section right here, okay? Um, red is high impact. Let me click on it and let's see what's going to happen right here in the OPEC. Once we click on it, you see it has notes and it has different events around the world. This is going to happen around the world. It says all, all economies, right? OPEC. JMMC meetings are attended by representatives from the 13 OPEC members and 11 other oil-rich nations. They discuss a range of issues regarding energy markets and most importantly, agree on how much oil they will produce. The meetings are closed to the press, but officially, officials usually talk with reports throughout the day. And a formal statement covering policy shifts and meeting objectives is released after the meeting have concluded. So this is what we're talking about in you can see that oil and energy, they have an effect on all economies. So you see why it says all, right? So some of the major um, things that are going to really impact are things like this. The Fed Chair Powell speaking. Let's look at this box. This has to do with the United States dollar. Due to speech about the U.S. economy at an online event hosted by Wall Street Journal, audience questions are expected. Now, let's look right here. Why traders care? It says right here, as head of the central bank, which controls short-term interest rates, he has more influence over the nation's currency value than any other person. Traders scrutinize his public engagements as they are often used to drop subtle clues regarding future monetary policies. Now, would that be important? Yes, it is. So right here, it has the different news that's going to report this. So this is something that we have to be concerned about if we're trading the USD. Now, the USD is the number one economy that's trading in Forex. So other things you want to look out for is Federal Open Market Committee, the FOMC, non-farm payrolls, NFP, 
unemployment rates, final gross domestic product, GDP, monetary policy announcements, and any rate decision announcement from the central bank. These are the big, big topics that are going to change, and we do not want to trade when you see a red folder. We do not want to trade when we see a red folder. Okay, now let's go over what is the impact of these different folder colors. So, number one, the red. Red is high impact expected. High impact expected. These are the areas that we do not want to trade. Now, this is something that's going to affect all day. So, this would be a good day to go ahead and skip trading on this day. If you want to be conservative and, and you're a, a big time a risk management prevention of not losing money, then you want to just go ahead and say today it says all day. Usually these red folders are only a time frame, but this says all day. Somebody might skip this whole day in trading. Now, look at this right here. USD. Let's just say you're doing USD. You do not want to trade at nine o'clock. And, and this could be for hours. You might want to pick up trading three, four hours later because the Fed chair is talking. If he says something positive, then you want to start trading afterwards. What are you doing if he says something positive? You're probably going to look for a call. You're going to look to buy. If he says something negative and the news is saying that it's negative what he's saying, when you click the box and it says negative stuff was reported, then you're going to want to sell or put. All right, but this is going to affect the market so much that you don't even want to trade at this time because it's kind of like up in the air. Um, the mid impact expected. We don't have any folders like that. That's an orange folder. Orange. That's mid impact. You have to be very cautious around those times. Now, the yellow folders, which we see here mostly, are low impact. We don't really have to. We just want to read sometimes, but it's really not going to impact our trading habits for this day. And then sometimes we'll have a gray folder, and that just has. It's non-economical. It's something that's happened in the world, but it has nothing to do with economics, so you don't even have to worry about that. Okay, right here, this is related stories when it has a, a piece of paper coming out the folder. Um, if it has an uh, orange indicator on top with a star on the folder, which we don't have right here, it would be an alert inside, which you need to read these alerts, okay? Um, then we have a revision. We don't see any of those. Um, up next, we don't see that. So this is the actual data right here. This is what actually is happening in the market right here. And this is what is forecasted. So we want to see, we forecasted right here, 51.1. Actually, it's up. Do you see that? Right here, we forecasted negative 1.4%. It actually went down. That's why there's red right here, negative 5.9. So they predicted this and it went down. So this is just showing you is the market forecast going up or down so you have to use these together and then this is the previous what happened a day before a week before now this is a graph you can click on the graph now let's look at you see there's no graphs on the red folders but let's look at the graph right here on the unemployment on the euro and this is what it's going to look like so the graph is going to show us from 2013 all the way to 2021 how this affected when this news came out this is what we're looking for and we simply click out by just hitting the x okay now you can look down here this has more uh news right here to the right these are the different news stories that you want to read about uh, we actually can click the box the the folders for more information on the detail part and look at different ones but this is just all of them compiled together right here is the forums the people that are the the leading traders the most followers they're going to come up first and hot trends you guys might want to read these and also we have the forums up here at the top trades news calendar market and brokers now everybody gets all of this what i've been showing without having a paid membership. But if you have a paid membership, you're gonna log in right here. If you wanna join, you're gonna join right here. And then you'll be able to get more indications and more things like that. Um, this is, once again, the number one calendar
for 4x it really shows you deep details if you get a red folder please do not trade during these times and always look at these folders to find out when to trade if you're trading usually at that time of day let's say that i trade every day at 9 a.m and i trade the usd mostly which most of the people do okay and you get a red folder you're gonna say okay i might skip today if i'm only trading you know between 9 to 10 but it might be time for you to go ahead and trade later on in the day you might have a second time that you trade throughout the day but you want to be familiar with the time that you trade with that most and stick to that sticking to a routine with trading is beneficial for you and it will help you win more and take less losses you guys this is a beast trader have a great day hopefully you guys understand a little more about this